Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're experiencing issues with Google Chrome, specifically if you're coming across white screen errors and it just appears like a white blank page. And no matter what website you go on, it just is continuously looking like that. So instead of doing a complete reinstall, we're just going to reset the browser. So just be aware that anything you had on the browser is going to be reset. So any saved passwords, history, that's all going to be cleared here. But it just saves us a step over uninstalling and reinstalling it, basically. So just want to put that out there. We're going to be clearing everything out here. We're not leaving anything to chance. So we're going to go about doing this by selecting the menu icon at the top right corner of the browser screen. Go ahead and select Settings. Scroll down near the bottom where it says Advanced, and go ahead and click on that to drop it down should be a reset option near the bottom, reset and clean up. Restore settings to their original defaults, go ahead and select that. And like I said, this will reset Chrome settings and Chrome shortcuts. It will disable extensions and it will delete cookies and other temporary site data. However, I will make a correction of what I said. Bookmarks, history, and safe passwords will not be affected. So actually it sounds like it's a better deal than how I initially portrayed it. I think in the past it actually would reset that. This might be a newer thing with newer versions of Chrome. I do believe it, it used to clear everything. When it said it cleared everything, when it was a uh, browser reset, it did clear everything. But this appears to be a newer thing as far as I'm aware. So anyway, um, I'm going to actually uncheck Help Make Chrome Better by reporting the current settings. You can keep it checkmarked if you want. It doesn't have any bearing on the outcome for us here. So we're going to go ahead and select Reset Settings. And you should close out of the browser, restart it, and then hopefully that should have been able to resolve the problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.